Hey guys, Tonic here, and today I'd like to share my new and improved simple and effective bloodied build. Now this is primarily a commando build, however you can convert it into a rifleman build, and it will still perform pretty well. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Starting off with a quick demonstration outside of West Tech, you can see that I have no chems active or extra buffs or anything like that, and I'm still able to put out some really solid damage numbers. We're getting around 379 damage on those headshots, and on a crit we can even get up to 667. Now I've been using this build for the past few months, and I really enjoy it. It's easy to set up, you can put out high damage, do well in boss fights, and stay undetected. And one really cool thing about this build is that it actually uses no legendary perk cards. And that is because I wanted this to be a really simple and effective bloodied build. Not every player has maxed out legendary perk cards, so I didn't want to make a build that required tons of maxed out legendary perks. This is just a simple bloodied build that still works great, and over time as you level up your legendary perks, you can slowly add to it and customize it to fit your personal playstyle. So let's quickly take a look at what you will need for this build. First you are going to need some unyielding armor pieces, the unyielding effect will give you plus 3 to all stats besides endurance when you are low health, and personally I like to run an unyielding covert scout armor set. I love the way it looks and I like that extra stealth bonus, but you do not need this exact armor. Pretty much any unyielding armor will do. It doesn't even have to be a full matching set, just make sure to get the unyielding effect on every piece and you should be good. Over time you can try and grind out a full god roll set, but if you are just starting out with bloody builds, just make sure you have the unyielding effect on every piece. Next, for the weapons to use with this build, try to get a bloodied or anti-armor rifle that can be suppressed and turned fully automatic. Fixers and handmaids are the big ones to look out for, but you can still put out good damage with automatic assault rifles and automatic combat rifles. Personally, I like to run an anti-armor fixer and a bloodied handmaid. Here's my fixer, it's an anti-armor 25 faster fire rate and 25% less fat AP cost. And then my handmaid is a bloodied 25 faster fire rate and 25% less fat AP cost. Now both of these rifles have really good rolls, and I would highly recommend them, but again if you are just getting started, just try to get any automatic suppressed rifle with the bloodied or anti-armor effect. Even this 1 star bloodied assault rifle can still put out decent damage. As far as mutations go, there are a few that you're going to want. Adrenal Reaction is the biggest one, this one is going to give you some extra damage at low HP. Also Eagle Eyes will give you some extra perception and crit damage. Marsupial is just an awesome mutation for almost any build, it increases your jump height and carrying capacity. And lastly, we have Speed Demon. This one will increase your movement and reload speed. And now let's quickly take a look at the perk cards for this build. For this build, you're going to want 2 Strength, 13 Perception, 7 Endurance, 3 Charisma, 3 Intelligence, 13 Agility, and 15 Luck. Starting with Strength, we have 2 Points in Bandolier. Then over in Perception, we have Master Commando for some more damage, Tank Killer, Commando, Expert Commando, and Concentrated Fire for Vats. Over on Endurance, we have Life Giver for some more health, and then Fireproof. On Charisma, we have Tenderizer. Over in Intelligence, we have Nerd Rage, and this is a super good perk card for bloodied builds. Then over in Agility, we have Action Boy for AP, Covert Operative for some more damage, Escape Artist to sneak away, Gung Fu for Vats, Adrenaline for some more damage, and then Dodgy. Over on Luck, we have Bloodied Mess for some more damage, Grim Reaper Sprint, Better Criticals, Serendipity, Starch Genes, and lastly, Crit Savvy. And that's just about everything you need for this build. Slap on those perk cards, grab some unyielding armor, and get a decent rifle, and you are good to go. Playing with the build is super easy, use vats a lot and use your critical hits, and it's a stealth focus build so just stay crouched as often as you can when you are fighting, and enemies won't be able to find you or shoot you unless they are right on top of you. Also because we are crouching and staying hidden or in caution, you will be getting a sneak damage bonus when fighting, and that just adds a ton of extra damage, and if you do end up going into danger, just run away for a second and crouch, and because we have the escape artist perk card on, you should go back into caution pretty quick. And as you can see here with the Super Mutant, as soon as I start moving away I go back into Caution. And this is really nice because you won't be taking a lot of damage, and you will still get that stealth damage bonus. I also highly recommend grabbing a Gamma Gun. The roll doesn't really matter, it's only used for giving yourself some rads quickly. Sometimes you might die and respawn with your health too high, or accidentally run through a decontamination shower in a camp that gets rid of all of your rads. But with a Gamma Gun just aim at your feet and shoot, and you will get rads quickly. I find myself using it a lot. Lastly, with a bloodied build, you are going to find that you do a lot more damage, but you will also get a lot of really cool smaller benefits. Because we are wearing unyielding armor, and it's boosting our special stats, you will gain a ton of extra carry weight because we have a lot of extra strength now. You will also get some more XP because our intelligence stat is higher. This is awesome during double XP weekends. If you use a bloodied build and pop some lunch boxes, you can level up extremely fast. These stat boosts are also the reason why we can sneak around without getting detected. 
Because their agility is so high, they won't even notice us unless we start shooting or stand up, we're not even using the sneak perk card or stealth boy, and we're still going undetected. And one more thing, this one is a bit smaller than the other ones, but you can pass almost every speech check and dialogue that you come across because all of your stats are so high, so there are a lot of extra benefits for being a bloodied build. It won't just give you higher damage, you can get more XP, carry weight, a sneak bonus, and pass a ton of speech checks. And these stats honestly are not even that high for a bloodied build. You can make them go much higher with legendary perks and armor pieces, stuff like that. But still, these stats are pretty good. Another cool thing with this build is that you can easily switch it into a Rifleman build by just changing the Commando perk cards over to Rifleman, then grab a decent single shot rifle like a Lever Action or even a non-automatic fixer or handmade. It's really fun being able to switch back and forth and I would honestly recommend this to newer players who don't have a ton of ammo. Running a Commando build is awesome, you can put out a ton of damage quickly, but you will also burn through ammo pretty fast. So if you are struggling to keep up with ammo or you just don't have a ton, go ahead and switch over those perk cards and play as a rifleman for a bit. You can usually find good bloodied or anti-armor or even instigating rifleman weapons for cheap and vendors, and you will use a lot less ammo while still putting out some solid damage. Now I wanted to make this bloodied build super easy to get into. You don't need any god roll armor or god roll weapons or even any legendary perk cards. But over time, as you start ranking up your legendary perk cards, you can use them to easily customize this build to fit your playstyle better. So if you wanted some extra carry weight, you could get the strength perk card. If you wanted some extra health, you can grab the endurance one. You can also grab the intelligence one and throw on gunsmith. You can really fine tune it for how you like to play. Personally, when I throw on my legendary perk cards, I like to go with Master Infiltrator, Funky Duds, Follow Through, Ammo Factory, and I'll even throw on the Intelligence one so I can get Gunsmith and some extra XP. This is what I like, but again, you might find some other perks fit your playstyle better, so choose whatever you like. This build is by no means the best bloodied build or the strongest bloodied build. This is simply just a nice way to get into bloodied builds. You can really fine tune and min max them, but this one works great for me. I've been using it for a while and I really enjoy it, so I hope that it works well for you too. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all the channel members. Anxiety Ranger, Mazader, Blake Heath, David McDermott, Barrett Codes, Arjun Deer, Joe Pervincente, Shaky Hands Workshop, Leo the Collector Plays, As Death 93, Loopy, Adam Steins, and Terry Lockridge, Zapper, Robert Kennard, CRM114, Theodore, Slappy Sauce, King Kittens, Omniprotus, Victrix, Axel, Kevin W, Anna S, Fallout McFly, Networkgate, Goldie, Lanthar, Captain Awesome, Citizen Girl, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruda, 23 Ice Fire, Jay Smith, Bowser Double Frank, Christy Mellon, Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.